Yo, dude, what would you call this style? Oh yeah, that's business core. Okay, well, what about now? Oh, now it's punk aesthetic. How about now? That's clearly business core. <laughs> Wait, Jake, you forget the semantics of cores and aesthetics for a second. You can finally access your favorite TV show that you definitely won't base your whole personality on. Wait, so you're telling me I can watch The Office? Of course. But let me stop talking to you, let me talk to the audience here. Now, Netflix in the US doesn't allow me to watch The Office, so I use Surfshark VPN. They route my traffic through a different server located in a different country, which allows you to bypass website restrictions safely and easily. I can also access Japan's Netflix, which allows me to watch Steins Gate. I mean, besides being able to access different websites your country might restrict you from using, you can also browse the web anonymously, protect yourself from Wi-Fi hacks, avoid ISP tracking, improve your connection speed, and stay safe while working remotely. And there's no risk with trying Surfshark because you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. And don't forget to secure your privacy with Surfshark and enter the coupon code ELITIST for an extra three months for free. So give Surfshark a try and you can watch The Office all you want. And I'd like to give a huge thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. We are in an era of deliberate manipulation by the algorithm to view fashion as a commodified process. Social media has convinced many to subconsciously see fashion as a form of competition. We have to be uniquely dressed or else we lack taste. And it's a trend not to be in trend. It's a trend to hate trends. And it's a trend to be in trend. Now, the counterculture to the mainstream palatableness is to find one's personal style that isn't developed within a trend. And this is in order to be true to oneself. And you definitely cannot be influenced by the cringe trends that the herd follows. Although with the approach of finding personal style, people are driven to search TikTok and Pinterest to find aesthetics and cores that are built around the same idea, capitalism. Aesthetics was an area of philosophical study centered around beauty as a concept and how images and objects impacts one's life. If you present a certain way, then you are that. You live, breathe, and cultivate what you appear to be. They sell you an image of appearance, but not the community and world building of its true essence. Aesthetics and cores are born from rudimentary ideas that lack depth. And of course, it's easier to format something that requires less things to achieve. Now, with that, we see that the instant gratification people seek is showcased through the idea of wanting to appear aesthetically as a genre, but to never participate in its lifestyle or culture. Cores and aesthetics are what happens when a subculture is stripped down, hollowed out, and repackaged into a loadout for companies to sell to you as if that's the only way to access these subcultures. They take subcultures which have rich history, beliefs, and a lifestyle, then create them into palatable objects that have a surface level approach that has little to no substance for people to buy. An example of this is like buying a costume at a party city. You now are that character you wear. Yet with fashion, there's no distinction from fantasy to lifestyle. Now, the question here is, when does an outfit become a costume. Business core JQ here, and I'm here to answer that question. No, I do not smoke. I'm a poser. An outfit becomes a costume as soon as the wearer is not really living the lifestyle and or is in the culture of what they're trying to imitate. Life is just an imitation of what we think is successful, cool, or interesting. And people gravitate towards very specific personalities that they want to imitate. Just like the kids that want to imitate Andrew Tate and be like Andrew Tate because they see him as powerful and successful. It's heavily influenced by what social media is broadcasting to people watching this type of content. There's no actual deep thought. Everything tends to be quite surface level with the way it's approached with what fashion is being performed as. It's a form of entertainment rather than something that can be seen as a lifestyle change or something that they actually deliberately believe in. There is nothing more than just what it is as a vacuous trend and it's just put on aesthetically for show. Because if they're selling you an idea of a lifestyle that seems interesting or cool to you that is obviously more palatable then who wouldn't want to buy that? But if anything, you're robbing yourself out from life experiences, developing into an actual rich culture, and understanding what is really going on behind the clothing that you're wearing. And for example, capitalism is selling you a lifestyle if you buy this punk aesthetic jacket. You'll be the real deal punk. You'll finally be that idealized self who's craved that personal style you oh so wanted. But you're not that ideal self. You don't have personal style. The most fun you had with that idea was right before you bought it. And that's marketing. And it's working on millions of people who buy into this heavily repackaged, hollowed out costume social media praises people for wearing. You are but a poser. 
Social media has developed these overly positive habits of supporting everyone and anything to avoid being seen as a hater or pretentious. With costume wearers being uplifted and the realists being shown out of the conversation, we are but just left with the echo chamber of yes men and women pushing younger and older individuals to fall for the same trap that is being a thoughtless jester in consumer culture. In order to escape the cave of creators that advocate for finding your personal style through cores and aesthetics, one must first consider that you're being sold a lifestyle that is an imitation. Once you recognize that you can start the journey of self actualization and understanding how you want to move through the world rather than simply putting it on and appearing to be something you're not, you're one step ahead in the journey that awaits you. Fashion is not an end all be all, it's a hobby, it's a privilege, and it tests your patience. Now, to start, you must first involve yourself in the culture, conversations, and experiences that are genres. And secondly, don't gain all your information from TikTok, because if you gained your information from TikTok and you stated that was your source, you probably would fail all your college classes, let's be honest. Instead, use the internet to research, rather than take small bits of possible misinformation from short form content. Utilize other sources and remain skeptical of content you consume for who knows if it's truly a wreck. Pause. Resume. Correct. Now, if anyone has great sources for knowledge about fashion or anything that you could help, leave them down below so you can help out the community of our brothers and sisters. Well, there's only about 8.5% of sisters here, but shout out you. Furthermore, if you understand that it's not just simply appearing to be, but actually being, then you have escaped the cave. New coffee table that costs $4,000. New outfit that you cannot see. Coquette core. What are you today? Huh? What are you today? Um. Business got, core. Guy that just got laid off in fintech. <laughs> core. Today we are going to get our ears pierced. And then some. And then some after that. And then some after that. Today I'm wearing the Pope's fragrance. Very awesome. Pope's fragrance. That is what I'm wearing today. For what? Disappointment. After the piercing? We ended up not getting piercings because what was the reason? Williamsburg tax. And the person, uh, they pierced the guy's nose wrong. That scared me off. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. From there we went to, we got on the train. What's going on over here? They closed it off, bro. <laughs> Doing something. After Williamsburg, we went to this pop-up to check out all these clothes, cool clothes. It's pretty loud, pretty interesting fabrics. It's pretty neat, interesting time, uh, and then from there we just, you know, meandered around a little bit and then got some food. And then now we're headed to uh, my roommate's bar. No walking, just, just sitting, and we're in an Uber. Your recommendation? Is it a good book? I haven't read it yet. My friend Connor. What's the female gaze? No comment. <laughs> what do you think the female gaze is? Uh, the female gaze is uh, Ryan Gosling in, in the movie Drive. What's the, the vibe, movie? bro? Answer. It's like. Yeah. Uh, I don't like. Okay, can you give me an example of like the male gaze first of all. I feel like it's like goofy guy, bro. Whoa. It's just a goofy guy. Like if, if you, I'm from they're mad. Um, China and then Malaysia. But What's the I've word? Like if a dude has oh, charisma or like no, some type of, a lot of I know that a lot of like, uh, like my dad openness, but like so like not being afraid to talk to someone. But some are, some girls like the opposite, girl where they like the girl lowest girl. off guy. I think it really depends on how really cool, they portray like, themselves. If you match the energy of like, them, like, that's what you need, bro. That's what they want. Hit me up. Hit me up. What's the feeling? It really depends for the girl. I honestly don't know. I'm not experienced. This is fire.
Dude, look, at, look, at, look at his butt. Bro. Fire. So fire. My kid's treat at the kid's store. Clip. It says Prita chocolate. Um. <laughs> <laughs> And now, for today's comment highlights, we have two comments. One's funny, one's something I can divulge in slightly. So, the first comment comes from this guy named Gangswag3447. He says, he asked the female gaze about the female gaze. Bars. Great comment, Swag. Gangswag, actually. Uh, next comment. When you dress average, you attract average people, so you get more matches. But from personal experience, I can say that dressing in your style is way better for attracting women that you will actually like and get along with. This is something I didn't touch on, but as a person has stated very clearly, yes, that does make total sense. Um, when you dress in a very, very niche way, you will only really attract people that are either interested in that or open-minded and or also are in the genre or get it you know what i mean and i'm not just i'm not saying this to ostracize people from dressing like the more you dress insane the more you'll no one will like you that's not true it's just in, in terms of like a dating aspect from based off first glances you'll get a lot of stereotypes just in general i mean pe we stereotype people that are very mainstream looking as you probably think they're boring and whatnot but regardless of the fact you will definitely pull very specific types of people that are interested in that kind of crowd. It's like the artistic guy versus the avant-garde pretentious dude. I mean, who's really attracted to either or? It varies from woman to woman, from man to man, whatever you're into. But nonetheless, your hobbies and just what you talk about, your lifestyles, it attracts certain people. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, I'll be hopefully in LA. I plan on doing a few other videos out there. I'd also like to quick shout out to the Patreon members. I've been trying to do my best with doing podcast stuff on there, but I have so many projects going on. But now I'm putting all the VODs of the live streams up on there. So if you ever feel like catching those, dollar donos, any donation, you can watch those. Uh, I talk a lot, I yap a lot on them. Um, you can probably hear about my ideas and thoughts with regarding what people do, but please catch me on the live streams. I'd appreciate being able to talk to more of you guys on there and even having a discussion. I try to talk to as many people as I can on there and it's been going pretty well, it's pretty nice. I'm sure by the time I post this video, I'm gonna be 26, so it's my birthday. <sighs> Uh, pretty soon. I'm 25. I, I don't think most people don't know that, but I will be 26 by the time this video is posted. Uh, it's not much of an odd feeling as it's more comforting than ever. I continue to grow in myself and I continue to gain more knowledge. And I hope this channel grows with me in, in time and age, as well as you. Um, but yeah, leave your birthday wishes down below. Uh, leave comments, replies, questions, whatever, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one if I'm still alive. I might get destroyed on the plane, I'm, the plane might blow up, and this might be my last video that I ever make, but, you know, time is sacred, so go and enjoy life and roam the streets. Catch you guys in the next one. Later, drainers. Later drainers. Until next time. You must capitalize in capitalism to find one's true self, they tell you. Oh, are you so lost, my friend. Real fashion is not meant to be palatable. It's meant to be artistic to the point where it makes the viewer choke. It's not meant to be easily digestible or watered down. You're supposed to be choking at what you see, and the average typical person that will see something that's very eccentric, very fixated on something very specific, it's not wearable for them because it's not what they believe in or what they can understand or are willing to understand, and it forces that person to choke on it. Pause. Resume.